Hello and welcome to another solo episode of the Sacred Beauty Lifestyle Podcast. I am super excited to be here with you today and I just want to cover a little bit of housekeeping first before we delve into this juicy topic. If you would like to help me create the content here, please do so by letting me know what you want for me to speak on. That said, you may send questions, request a particular topic, or even nominate a guest that you would like for me to interview. You may do so by emailing me at hello at sacredbeautylifestyle.com. That's hello at sacredbeautylifestyle.com. Today, I am super excited to share with you the four keys to creating beauty so that you have a template for what to do when you are not feeling like the most radiant, powerful, beautiful version of yourself. I believe that beauty is a frequency. It's a vibe, an energy that you can tap into and radiate, and it's in your hands. And let's face it, some days you just aren't feeling the beauty vibe as much as you are on other days. I have the formula to share for when you need to access your personal beauty frequency on demand. Much of what I teach when working with my clients is all about creating habits and rituals to shift your inner state from a less desirable state to a more desirable one or from a less feel good one to one that feels good. As Tony Robbins shares, if you learn to change your posture, if any of you are watching me on video right now, I just sat up. (laughs) It's such a great reminder when you even hear someone say that. If you learn how to change your posture and focus, you can instantly change your mood and mindset. Change your state, change your life. This is the self-mastery that sets us apart. By shifting your physical state, you can start to feel better. And you can do this through nurturing self-care habits. Think about a positive feedback loop. I use the sacred beauty positive feedback loop. So there is a sacred beauty upper loop and a sacred beauty lower loop. When you were in the sacred beauty upper loop, you are taking care of yourself, you're eating well, you're resting, you're practicing movement of some sort, you're doing things that change your state and keep you in a feel good state. Whereas in the lower loop, you don't feel like the best version of yourself, you may not feel energized, so you're skimping out on your routines and rituals and not taking the best care of yourself. And you are likely reaching for things that are convenient, which means you're probably not eating as well. And now your skin isn't looking your best. And it can absolutely be a cycle or a loop. When you are in the positive loop, it's easy to feel motivated to stay there. And when you're in the negative loop, it can also feel easy to stay there, even though it's not an ideal or desired state, which is no bueno. So you need to do things to stimulate getting yourself out of this cycle. This is where the four keys to creating beauty as a way to feel good come in. I always say when you feel good, you look good, you look good, you feel good, and they absolutely feed one another. Sometimes You have to create the feel good change in the physical state to move into the upper loop. You know, when people talk about faking it until you make it, I'm not actually a huge fan of this philosophy because the idea of faking anything is such a turnoff to me. (laughs) I literally don't know how, but perhaps this is one way you can consider this tool like a how to or a cheat sheet when you need a pick me up fix, when you need to take an inspired action that changes your state and can move you into the upper loop. For me, for the most part, I typically follow these steps and create my beauty feel good frequency on a regular basis so that I don't feel like I need it. That is the goal after all is to stay in prevention mode. So you're ready for whatever life throws your way. For me, this allows me to say yes to last minute interviews and collaborations that require me being seen because it keeps me feeling good and looking my best and my confidence is high. 
However, we all have times we need to muster up the energy to get going for the day and to feel like our most fabulous, beautiful, radiant self. So here is your ticket. So key number one of creating beauty. Create beauty through your wardrobe and adorning your temple. So basically shifting your appearance, your physical body can get the momentum going. Because as mentioned, when you feel good, you look good. When you look good, you feel good. And sometimes you have to create that on the outside to inspire that inner change. And one way of doing this is reaching for bright colors. I remember learning years ago in some fashion or beauty course I took, them suggesting that reaching for bright colored clothing, such as red on a day when you're tired, is a great way to create energy. This could be you choosing a top that is a vibrant, energizing color. It could also be a lipstick. If you are a lipstick kind of a person, I do love me a good red bright lip as an instant pick me up. And if you are watching the podcast on the YouTube channel, now we have the video aspect available on YouTube. You will see that I'm wearing one of my favorite red orange colors and it makes me feel good. Jewelry is another fun way to bring in color, to create a pick-me-up. You know, it could even be a jewel, a piece of jewelry that is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't have to be a color, but it creates a feeling in you that stimulates joy and beauty in you. Uh, one of my colleagues, Liz, shared that she likes to wear boots on a time when she's like maybe going for a bank loan or some other authoritative meeting that she needs to really empower the most like badass version of herself. And that is a way to anchor that in. So using tools like that as well, that make you feel strong and powerful when you need to. I will often dress up and present myself in a more polished way because dressing up feels good to me. Even thinking about fabrics that feel rich and luxurious and are comfortable, of course, at once must be comfortable to feel good. (laughs) Uh, This is also a way in creating that shift. I was having a conversation recently with a local gal named Bella. She works at the 11th house here in Fairfax, California. For those of you who are local or visiting, it's such a great place for mystic mamas, which are like many of you sacred beauty podcast listeners here because it has the crystals and the, you know, cards and all of these things that help us with the sacred beauty lifestyle these beautiful tools. So Bella is a very fitting name for her because she is also absolutely beautiful. She definitely is one who likes to adorn herself with jewelry and clothing and makeup because it helps her feel good and beautiful. And she is absolutely radiant. And we were bonding about how we do it for ourselves, how it feels good to dress up and it creates and fosters your state, how it's an energy thing. Feeling good and adorning your body can actually lift your frequency creating beauty. Because as mentioned, beauty is a frequency that you can rise into. So when I was speaking with Bella last week, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing a podcast on it. So thanks, Bella. (laughs) Told you I'd give you a shout out. (laughs) Okay. The second key to creating beauty is movement. Movement in a way that you love. For me, it's dance. It's a total reset for mind, body, and soul. For some, it may be running, it may be yoga, it may be jumping up and down. (laughs) Sometimes though, when you haven't been moving in a hot minute or feeling really uninspired, you may need to take it slow, meeting yourself where you are, which means perhaps starting with stretching or even a slower, more relaxing form of yoga, like yin yoga. I absolutely love yin yoga. And so you may have to start there instead of dancing or running. I know for me, when I have been off track and as for my clients as well, have experienced this being really helpful to start with something gentle and easy to get into. And yin yoga can really be a great way for you to start getting back into movement if you've been off track. And now you've moved your body and you've released a lot through yin because you hold positions, stretching as well. So then you've kind of created an opening and released and moved some energy in the body so that it can be easier to move into other forms of movement that are more high paced and cardio. 
And sometimes, again, depending where you are, even just putting music on is a good place to start to get the energy moving in your body. Okay, the third key to creating beauty is a self pep talk. Lifting yourself up by saying kind words to yourself, just like you would a friend in need, to your sweetheart or a child in need of a pep talk. If they forgot for a hot moment who they really are and needed reminding, it's easy often for you to lift somebody else up. So reminder here that you can actually do this for yourself by simply saying your I am's, claiming all the good things that you know to be true about yourself to get momentum going in an uplifting direction, such as, I am a badass. I am an amazing friend. I am such an incredible cook. I am a phenomenal dancer. I'm a gifted speaker, like whatever it is, and just list off the things that you know to get the momentum rolling in a positive feedback loop for you. You can also up your game by doing this in the mirror, which is called mirror work. Louise Hay was a huge proponent and teacher of mirror work. It is an incredibly effective method for learning to love yourself and to speak more kindly to yourself and even to see the world as a more loving and safe place. We always have an inner dialogue going and sometimes it's not so nice. And so with creating intentional positive affirmations, this can help shift your subconscious to establish habitual ways of thinking and behaving. So basically intentionally creating positive affirmations, planting healing thoughts and ideas as seeds to grow in your subconscious helps support you in developing self-confidence and self-esteem, creating peace of mind and inner joy. And when you do this in front of the mirror like this, it creates an even bigger impact because the mirror reflects back to you where you're not quite in alignment with what you're saying. It will reflect back to you the feelings that you have. It makes you immediately aware where you are resisting so that you can start to look at and release these blocks that you have. It clearly shows you what thoughts you'll need to change to create joyous, fulfilling, uplifting dialogue for yourself. You can do this uh, too. Sometimes if something incredible happens to kind of lock it in, you can say to yourself by, by looking in the mirror, you are amazing. Look at what you just accomplished. And in the same way, if something not so good happens, you can look at yourself and go, okay, you didn't make the best choice there. Or maybe that wasn't the best version of yourself. And I still love you anyway. The more you start changing your inner dialogue, the more love and confidence you will feel and radiate and beauty, love, confidence, and beauty you will feel and radiate. Okay, so the fourth key to creating beauty is energy management. Because when you are drained, you are not emitting your most radiant, beautiful self. You may need to do some grounding, clearing, and even cutting of cords to things or people that drain you. Especially as intuits and empaths, which I know so many of you here are super sensitive beings, we pick up other people's energies, and especially when we are, like I was saying, psychic, or maybe even when we're not feeling that the best version of ourselves, we don't have our own barrier up, our own, we're not so full of our own vibrant energy, our higher self. When we're not fully occupying ourselves, somebody else can is a way that I like to say and teach that. So you might find that then you start to even feel worse. And in fact, when you don't feel great, it's often not you. So that might be a good time to do a clearing. So one of the ways through which I do this is Reiki energy healing. I'm a Reiki practitioner, but even if you listeners here are not a Reiki practitioner, you can still put your hands on your heart or on your belly or in any part of your body that is calling your attention and send healing energy to it simply by intending it. Because energy responds to commands, you get to boss it around. So you can tell the energy where to go. Like, okay, you are so not allowed in this space. 
this is my body. This is my house. Get out. <laughs> so that was an episode of Donatella Versace on Saturday Night Live where she's laying on the bed and she takes her arm and she draws it slowly down her body and says, get out. <laughs> so you can command the energy in a very playful, firm, directive way by telling it to get out. That said, hands-on healing, bossing it around, are great ways to clearing and moving energy and also meditation. Meditation is another way to shift energy. When you tap into and anchor your higher self in your body, like I was saying before, if you're not really occupying your body, someone else can. When you call all of you into your space, you are actually bringing in and activating an inner glow that is incredibly beautifying and uniquely you. Okay. So to recap, the four keys to creating beauty are key number one, creating beauty through your wardrobe and adorning your temple. Number two, creating beauty through movement. Number three, creating beauty through positive self pep talks, including mirror work. And number four, creating beauty through energy work. I hope this episode brought you inspiration and that these four keys will serve you in taking responsibility for creating your own beauty frequency. Remember, if you want to be a part of creating content here on these solo episodes or any episodes, in fact, email me at hello at sacredbeautylifestyle.com with your questions, request a particular topic, or to nominate a guest you would like for me to interview. And for those of you listening and watching here on YouTube, a little shout out to say thank you. I'm so glad you're tuning in and I cannot wait to read your comments. Feel free to drop the comments right here in the video of what you would like for me to create and share with you here. Have a blessed day.